million times. In a world of politics dominated by the strange, the deranged, and outright insane, we'll now take a moment to shine a light on the craziest of what politics has to offer. This is your weekly dose of stupidity. This is Matt Walsh from The Daily Wire, and he has some oh, thoughts God. about people <laughs> who uh, wear masks. So I'll let uh, him go so ahead funny. and take it away. And by the way, my beard is better than his, just to put that out there. Yes, it is. True. Uh, and we're going to start to see, we've already, we have already seen, but we'll begin to see even more, um, these mandates being put in, into effect on, on local and, and state levels. The question is really just whether you will choose to abide by it. Um, and, and if you do, you know, I go back to the, the Sam Adams quote, if you love wealth better than liberty, the tranquility of servitude better than the animating contest of freedom, go home from us in peace. We ask not your counsel or arms. Crouch down and lick the hands which feed you. May your chains set lightly upon you, and may posterity forget that you are a countryman. It's that's, coming. That's where I. That's why I am now with the mask. Wait. May your mask set lightly upon you, and may posterity forget that you are a countryman. I don't even want to share a country with you. <laughs> you're, you're a disgrace. If you're still taking these people seriously after all of this, you're going to do what they tell you to do contradicting themselves constantly okay so that escalated very quickly you know we have some <laughs> yeah. quotes and then it goes i don't want to share a country with you uh but before i i go over to the panel i have one more addition to the story this is just <laughs> this is beautiful to me lauren bobert throws mask in the face of a floor staffer as she fumes over a quote totalitarian <laughs> house rules imagine thinking that a piece of cloth over your face is totalitarian i Im imagine if somebody walked into a store and they started freaking out because they thought that the mandate to wear clothing was authoritarian <laughs> it's just it, it's shocking so we'll read a little bit of this it, I, I feel like this is totally believable for lauren bobert but uh colorado gop representative lauren bobert who's also a Q QAnon conspiracy theorist folks uh, doesn't like masks as evidenced by her covid yeah, denialist yeah. rhetoric yeah. and her history of defying mask mandates in the house chamber now her dislike for masks is apparently causing her to lash out at people physically according to politico's sarah ferris and abc news's ben siegel quote wow gop rep lauren bobert just threw a mask in the face of a floor staffer when she came to the floor not wearing one for someone watching the exchange ferris tweeted this wednesday representative lauren bobert just threw a mask at the democratic floor staffer who tried to give her one per source on the house floor who saw it happen folks what is going on in the world um i, I just I, I have to ask cab first is it as big of an issue in the uk as it is here in the united states because people really don't like masks yeah i, I find the american politicization of masks as its total <laughs> partisan issue like insane basically just for some context we've recently got rid of the mask law so you can't be fined by the police now but um TfL, which runs the, the tube um, and other train companies, you have to wear a mask. Most supermarkets say you have to wear a mask. I'm a bit annoyed at them taking away the law because lots of people don't wear masks. But there is a, there's a very conspiratorial fringe in the UK who are very anti-mask, anti-lockdown. But they were protesting the lockdown after the lockdown ended, like last week. So this shows you how crazy they are. Um, but with Americans, I'm like, it blows my mind. It's literally like a key political issue on the right. Like, I can't understand the selfishness, the individualism. I, I was watching, like, a documentary about Japan in the 30s, and loads of them were wearing masks. And this is, like, nearly 100 years ago. And the, obviously the key reason is, and I don't think um, the American, like, just generally, the Americans have really emphasized what a mask does. It doesn't stop you from getting COVID, which seems to be, like, the common misconception. It right. protects other people around you. And I'm also very frustrated at Dr. Fauci and some other people mm. for just saying you don't have to wear it anymore if you're vaccinated you don't have to wear it but there wasn't enough information about whether the vaccine stopped transmission and what frustrates me so much is these mask mandates aren't being enforced so it's just like su a suggestion so the people who are you know looking out for their fellow citizens a bit more they'll wear them right 
The people who aren't going to wear them, they're never going to wear them. So why take away the mandate, the federal mandate? It will take away anything in the UK as well. It's just very, very frustrating because also what's happened as well, like loads of flu cases have gone down, like flu deaths and everything. And just as a society, I I hope this is like a more of a learning moment that, yes, if you're ill, you probably wear a mask if you get in public transport. And it's really not an inconvenience. I wear it in a crowded street. If, If it's crowded, I wear it in a supermarket. I wear it in public transport. It's really not a big deal. Yeah, in the summer, it can get quite hot and uncomfortable. I'm not going to be like, was that video of them all applauding when the mask mandate got, they got rid of it out of some local city council. They're all going absolutely crazy. And I'm like, what country am I looking at here? I guess it's like the hyper focus on the individual in America makes people think like, oh, you're infringing on my rights. And the comparisons with like the Holocaust and stuff, like absolutely revolting shit right now. I think Americans, like, was it a poll that like 66% of Americans don't know what the Holocaust really was or something? I think they need a better education. If you're comparing wearing a mask to look out for people who might be vulnerable to a virus to like the extermination of a whole like race of people, I think it it, it just shows like, was it, um, was it Marjorie Green Taylor was, you know, saying this stuff and you're wearing like the, the star of David and stuff. It's totally crazy. So yes, in the UK, there's a fringe. It's not like the conservatives are going to die on this issue or anything. It's, it's just in America, it's insane. Like it is actually a crazy thing to watch. I think there's just unfortunately a lot of uh, conservatives in particular that have this, you, you know, this, this vision of America that they think exists, but it doesn't actually exist. And they want to play that role. They, they, they're, they're, they're in love with the flag. They're in love with nostalgic history. But is they, this, this is the hill they want to die on. It about is masks. in many ways. Uh, I, I just think that there's this thing about hearing the words liberty and freedom that get their rocks off in such a way. It's like they want to, they want to play this, this, um, you know, this hero like role. And notice that most of the people that are like that, these are not people that, you know, served in combat. They they kind of wish they did. They kind of wish that they had the courage to actually stand on the front line and, and fight, but they, they don't. You know, they'll hold the gun, they'll hold the Bible, they'll do all those things. And unfortunately, um, there there was, um, and this is something that Trump did uh, and, and was the most dangerous part of his presidency is, it isn't necessarily that Trump was the dangerous person, but he be, being the person that he is, he seized on the the base of people that oh, he yeah. knew he could excite into such a frenzy and just tell them that, oh, they're totally coming after you. You're totally going to be killed and you got to do what we say because we totally know what we're talking, you know. So, no, but what I wanted to say is what you were talking about um, is something that I talk about a lot. We in this country, we don't care about the collective. We don't think about the collective. If you even mention the collective, you're generally considered you're a communist. 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 And, um, which, you know, and that's, that's a big problem. But, you know, it shouldn't be surprising how the response is to COVID because really, if we cared about the collective, we'd have health care. We'd have, we'd have public tuition-free public college. We'd have, a, like you're talking about, like all of these things that would make us be handling COVID better are the same reasons why we're not handling COVID better. (laughs) Like it's all connected and we don't care about the collective.